Bias right here again. I'm going to show you how to fix a problem with iOS 7 and the iPhone 4S. A problem that was occurring where Wi Fi was completely grayed out and Bluetooth was just constantly loading. And when I said Wi Fi was grayed out, it would just not allow you to turn it on. Um, I wish I would have remembered to record what I was doing while I was doing it. But what I can pretty much do now is walk you through the steps and just show you what I did. So when I say it was grayed out, this would not even allow you to switch it on and off. It would just be in this position here, just completely grayed out, grayed out. Sorry, not allowing you to do anything. I would not take a hundred percent um um responsibility for how it. Um, for the fix, there's other people that have thought of this way before me. I've just, I just want to show something else that I added in that I would hope uh, um, help a lot more people. Because when I did it originally, um, it didn't work um, for the few times. I saw a lot of people in the comments saying that it did work for them. Didn't work for me, so I did one extra thing, thing combined two steps together, and that at that point it worked. So the issues with um, iPhone uh, is the it being grayed out so what they were saying in other videos that it's reading it as the phone being overheated or it's going to be overheated something like that once that happens it starts to turn off functionality so two of the functionalities it turns off are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and as soon as those get turned off they just won't turn on at all one thing was putting in the fridge for a few minutes that only worked for me about 10 minutes another one was uh, making the phone overheat and then allowing it to and just powering off for 10 minutes um, and with that it should be working fine um, when I did the one uh, the one with the fridge worked for 10 minutes the one with overheating and letting it cool down worked um, for about two minutes and it just stops working completely so what I did is pretty much combine the two um, before I go ahead and say anything disclaimer since you are um, overheating and sticking your phone in the fridge for um, for this fix I can't recommend anyone do it because there's a possi um there's a possibility that it can break your phone since you are over or damage your phone since you are um overheating it, but hopefully I can save you some money. If you're not hundred percent comfortable doing this, I would um see if you can um get some other people to do it for you if you're just not um hundred percent um um if you're not hundred percent sure on the technique or whatever, but um I do recommend doing this because I do believe it will fix a lot, if not everyone's problem that's having this. Um, but I can't tell you to do it because there's a poss possibility that it can damage your phone. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first thing you have to do is get a hair dryer or some kind of heat lamp and hold it directly over the phone and just keep going up and down like this for the next 10 minutes. Usually it took me about 10 minutes and then... Uh, 10 minutes then the warning popped up just like this one here saying that um, iPhone overheating you're, and you'll only be allowed to do emergency calls so after that hap after you're only allowed to do emergency calls what you see happen next or what you should do next I'm sorry is turn the phone off and then get some kind of plastic container or surface to put your phone on and then stick that in the fridge the reason the plastic container is there is so you don't put your phone on any direct cold surfaces because at that point your phone is extremely hot to the point where it can um, uh, probably won't burn you but it will be extremely uncomfortable to hold and you don't want it going from extreme hot to touching an extremely cold surface so putting that putting on the plastic will allow you to put it in the fridge without it cracking um, immediately or anything like that so after you put it in the fridge for about uh, make sure after it's overheating you put on the plastic container or whatever power it off um, stick it in the fridge for about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes uh, remember that it's in there don't keep your phone in the fridge for too long after it's in there take it out power it on turn on Wi-Fi and it should be working absolutely great from that point um, yeah, if you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns, definitely leave a comment down there in the comment section. And the only reason I am really, I'm actually even making a video because it really does work. I've seen plenty of other people say it does work for them. And I just want to show you guys how it's, um, or walk you through how it's done. Um, I'll definitely leave some links to the other guys down below. Uh, they give you more and better visuals as far as walking you through the process of doing so. But go ahead and leave leave a like, comment, share um, these.
on these video on this video it really helps me out. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys next time.